Hi. Hello, everyone. Dr. Chad here. Welcome. This is the Joint Stress and Inflammation webinar. We're going to talk about five natural ways to ease your pain this winter. It looks like we got people coming in. Awesome. And if you, as you come in, um, I'm going to get started here in a bit, but I usually wait a couple minutes for people to come in. But as you come in, I would love to hear where you're attending from today. So you can put that in the chat. And if you're comfortable with everyone seeing what you have to say, please adjust your settings so that it says everyone. And that way we can all see uh, what you're saying. So yeah, go ahead and tell me if you can tell me where you're attending from today. And I am here in Austin, Texas. Esther, Colorado Springs, good to hear from you. And, I'll help. and we got La Rose, I hope I pronounced that right. La Rose from C Cave Creek, Arizona. Teresita, good morning from Irvine, Patricia, Maryland, Rachel from Cali, Maria from Spring, Texas. I'm, I'm from Spring Klein, Texas. I, I lived in, uh, I was I went to Klein Forest, so right down the street in 1960. Got Don from Pennsylvania, Teresa from Oregon City, Elizabeth, Kathy, Dora, Susan, wonderful. Judy's here. All right. Good to hear from y'all. Oh, here, here's my next question while people are coming in. Thank you so much for checking in. Let's do this one. What are you most excited about this holiday season? What's the, what are you most excited about? What is it? Is it stuffing? Is it hanging out with family? Is it a Christmas presents? Like what, what are you most excited about this holiday season? I would love to hear that. I think I'm most excited about cashew cheesecake. My wife makes this amazing cashew cheesecake. It's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Carolyn coming in. Yes. Yeah, so let me know. Yep. What are you most excited about this holiday season? Family, hanging out with family and good food. Don spending time with family. Blessings from God. Yeah, Patricia, family gatherings. Yeah, I'm looking forward to family gatherings as well. And gifts from both my two kids. Beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. Well, we've got people coming in. Let's see what we got now. 53 people. Okay, good. So we got the joint stress and inflammation webinar we're going to be talking about here. Five natural ways to ease your pain this winter. So we're going to get started here in, in a little bit. And also, you know, since it's the season of gratitude, here, I want to share something with you I shared with our Native Path team yesterday about gratitude and how it relates to your health, your health. Like it turns out gratitude makes you uh, more healthy. It helps you become more resilient. It helps you manage stress. It's really helpful for your sleep and your interpersonal relationships. And some interesting things happen when you're in a state of gratitude. Your, your serotonin levels, your oxytocin, your dopamine, all the things that make you happy and feel joy go up go up. So it's really interesting between this, this, this science of gratitude and what it can do to your body. But what's also interesting is the, the best way to improve that feeling of gratitude in your body. It's not like we typically think, right? It's not like where we just sit here and think about all the things we're grateful for and list out the birds and bees and trees. The best way to cultivate gratitude, that feeling of gratitude inside of you that gives you the health benefits is to receive gratitude. So when someone else thanks you for something they did, when they had a struggle and then you came in and, and helped them in some way and they received a benefit and they expressed that gratitude to you, that's when you feel the most gratitude. So um, that's, 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 my, that's my little advice for you this holiday season. It really taught me a lot is uh, to be in service to people, to being in service to people. And when they, when they say thank you and you feel it, when it's genuine, that is, that is really powerful. And I, and I love uh, being in service in that way. So thank you all for saying hi and checking in. We're really loving these webinars and, uh, and, and getting to know you all a little more and, and just teaching you everything I've learned in my past. So I hope you've been enjoying them and, and just thank you for attending today. We're gonna talk about joint health and inflammation and some things that you can do to manage all of this during the cold winter seasons when people tend to get flared up in the joints. So I got a great presentation for you. Let me go ahead and get my screen shared and we'll go ahead and get started. And here we are. So here again, for those of you just joining us, welcome. I'm Dr. Chad Walding with Native Path. I'm a co-founder. And uh, today we're going to talk about joint stress and inflammation, five natural ways to ease your pain this winter. Really excited for this. And a little housekeeping things before we get started. To ask me a question, simply use the Q&A feature located at the bottom of your Zoom window. You may also hit the escape button to exit out of full screen mode. 
And also, I believe Krista and Rachel are in the chat as well. So they're going to be helping me answer some questions along the way. So I'll answer as many questions as I can during the presentation, and that will, will also save some time at the end so I can respond more. But again, feel free to ask questions along the way. Sometimes I pause and, and kind of answer the bulk of questions, but Rachel and Crystal, Krista are also there to help you. And this webinar is for educational purposes only. So it's to, the intention here is to educate you promote understanding and knowledge of whole body wellness topics and also feel free to share this information with your friends we're going to be <clears throat> we're going to be sending you a link after this webinar of a recorded version of this webinar and feel free to pass that along to all your people okay let's go ahead and get started with the agenda here so here's what we're going to be talking about uh, number one, the weather and your joints. What's the connection? I'll give you a hint. There is definitely a connection between the temperature and the weather, the humidity, the pressure, all that, and your joints. So we're going to be talking about that and some ways for you to work with that. And then number two, we're going to talk about inflammation. And it's it's not just about your joints. You know, if you have arthritis, anything with arthritis behind it is inflammation. There's other things uh, that are that are inflamed uh, in, in your body, and it's it's good to know about those things. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that and how to work around that. And then number three, we're gonna talk about five tips to protect your joints this winter. And I think I may even go take us through some movement sessions. Uh, many of you know I'm a big fan of movement as a physical therapist. So I've got a lot of, lot of things I wanna show you, get in, kind of inspire you in what you can do. And then number four, we're gonna talk about four necessary nutrients to improve joint health and bone health this winter. And at the very end, number five, we'll talk about, again, we'll have a live Q and A uh, with myself, but Rachel and, and Krista are here to help you along the way as well. So winter and painful joints. It's been cold here in, in Austin lately, and, and uh, I can already tell it's starting to happen. So what does the science say? A 2014 study of 222 patients with osteoarthritis of the hip seem to support that barometric pressure and relative humidity do influence symptoms. So a drop in pressure often precedes cold, rainy weather. And this drop in pressure <clears throat> may cause already inflamed tissue to expand, leading to increased pain. And another study in 2007 showed that each 10 degree temperature dropped was linked to an incremental increase in pain and that the rising barometric pressure also triggered pain in people with arthritis. So I would see this all the time when I was working in the clinic with people who were dealing with pain. They could tell me like when, when, when the weather was gonna change because they would feel that pressure change from the air and their joints would start acting up. Does anybody ever feel that? Like, you know, the weather's changing just because of the way your joints feel. And that's something a lot of my patients experienced a lot. So there's a truth behind that. And uh, the science shows that. So plus, cold weather naturally makes muscles feel more tense and tied up. And this tension may lead to less mobility and flexibility in the joint. You feel that too, like, because the muscles want to guard themselves. They want to protect when it gets really cold. So when it's tight, kind of holds onto the joints a little more. And because it, it's tighter, you, you move a little different. You lose mobility in that way. And that's where I get concerned as a as someone who's looking out for people's mobility, when people stop walking well and moving well, they tend to have more falls. So we want to be really careful about that. And then when it's cold outside, there's bound to be ice, which again means more chance of falling and getting injured. So strong winter winds can also make your joints and muscles work even harder to simply stay upright on ice. And I keep mentioning the fall thing because I, I saw so many people when they have a fall and they fracture a hip, and they stop moving. That's when health really goes down. Independent function really goes down. So we wanna be really aware of those things and be careful of them as we enter the cold season. So is it just about your joints with inflammation? Is it just about your joints or is there more to it? And it's important to know inflammation affects everything. Inflammation is behind so many issues that we face or so many health challenges that we face. So a Harvard Medical School's renowned doctor, Andrew Luster explains it like this. Inflammation is a smoldering process that injures your joints, your tissues, and blood vessels, and you often don't notice it until significant damage is done. So inflammation kind of works its way slowly, like, like boiling up water, and all of a sudden it's, it's too much, and you're like, whoa, how'd this happen, right? Inflammation is the key. And here's another chart I like to put in here, too. Um, inflammation, part of so many things, right? Cardiovascular issues, cancers, diabetes, neurological issues, autoimmune issues, arthritis. Again, anything, any, any medical term you ever see with itis behind it um, stands for inflammation. So inflammation of the joints is arthritis. 
uh, pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas, right? But inflammation is behind all that. Um, Alzheimer's disease, pulmonary diseases, just know that inflammation is, is something, if you address that and you fix that, you, f- you start to fix a whole lot of things. So we want to be mindful of what makes inflammation work and what can we do to, uh, to decrease and cool off inflammation. And your symptoms of inflammation can include a lot of different things. Uh, most common one is body pain. I see that a lot. And most people, that's a real good indication that someone's inflamed internally. Constant fatigue and insomnia, depression, anxiety, mood issues that can definitely affect the brain, inflammation in that way. Gastrointestinal issues like constipation, diarrhea, acid reflux, weight gain, frequent infections, and circulation issues. Those can all be signs that the body is inflamed. So let's talk about five tips to help protect your joints and health this winter so we can start taking action and be proactive here. Number one, the things that we can control more than anything else is what we put in our mouth, right? What we eat, what we drink every day, what we go shopping for, what we put in our pantry, in our fridge, right? We want to avoid the inflammatory foods. This is like the core of what we're trying to do here at Native Path, get you on the path, is to avoid the stuff that's, that's getting in the way from your health. So what is that? Number one, refined grains. Refined grains and really refined carbohydrates in, in general, things that were made in the lab, Uh, But refined grains and carbs are broken down into sugars quickly into your bloodstream and then can cause an elevation in blood sugar, which your body has to work hard to remove. And this effort stimulates inflammation. So if you're eating refined carbs throughout the day, your body is in a constant state of inflammation, working to balance your blood sugar levels. Additionally, refined carbs have a high glycemic index. They are considered an advanced glycation end product or we call them AGEs, which promote oxidative stress and inflammation, right? So really important to know that. And also another thing about grains, it's relatively new in the human diet, um, but these proteins in in grains can be very harmful. But proteins in grains, gluten, gliadin, they can poke holes in your intestinal lining. And it's like a, like invaders getting across the barrier, right? They're, they're, that those proteins can get into your bloodstream and wreak havoc all over your body. And when you start messing up with gut health, you start messing up with a lot of different things with your health. So guts, that's really important. Refined grains are, are no, no good for that stuff. So let's see, next one here. Oops, oh, oh, got a little delay. Number two, number two thing that we want to avoid with inflammatory foods is added sugars and the surprising place that you will find added sugars. So all, the, all those sugary sweets and drinks do taste good. You know, I'm sure you, you love them and they probably want to do a lot of that um, this holiday season, but consuming high amounts of sugar in your diet can increase inflammation and lead to a higher risk of chronic disease. And I'm not just talking about cookies and candy, but other products that have sneaky amounts of added sugar, such as granola. They put a lot of honey in there and just extra stuff that you probably don't need. Barbecue sauce, uh, salad dressings, peanut butter, baked beans and bread. Another thing you got to look out for is anything that says O's on the back of it, like sucrose, fructose, glucose, anything that says O's is sugar. And they keep coming up with different names for it, but you re- it's really important to look on the back of that. Even when people are eating healthy, you know, even with, with salad dressings, I put loads and loads of sugar in there. And uh, other thing you want to be careful of is juices like orange juice, apple juice. That is just high, high amounts of fructose with a little fiber. And we get to that issue where your blood sugar spikes really quickly. It causes your pancreas to produce a whole lot of insulin to clear the bloodstream. Very bad process for the body when done chronically. Puts you in that inflammatory state to really be careful about those things. And know that studies show that when adults consume that sugar, that's when inflammation goes up. So these biomarkers include high cholesterol levels and C-reactive protein, What we want to do is simply reduce your sugar intake, eat more whole real food, get your carbohydrates from vegetables and fruit rather than the refined kind. You'll radically reduce inflammation and your risk for chronic disease. Number three, anti-inflammatory or inflammatory food that we want to avoid. We want to stop eating vegetable oils and trans fats. One of the best things you can do for your health is go to your pantry after this and look for anything that says canola oil vegetable oil, safflower oil, soybean oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, throw them away. I know that sounds weird, like throwing food away, but it's not doing you any good. It wouldn't be doing anybody else any good, right? Those those oils are very cheap, highly processed. They've been bleached. They've been made to act like real oils. They come from mono agriculture, very inflammatory to your body, um, can damage your cells, make you age faster. They are not good for your health at all. 
those are going to make your joints hurt a lot worse, right? Replace them with the good stuff like coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oil, grass-fed butter, you know, really healthy stuff is going to be much better for you. And also trans fats. Hope I hope no one's using trans fats. So trans fats are a term used to describe the process of partial hydrogenation. And this means the oil is unnaturally altered to maintain a solid state at room temperature. And examples of trans fats include shortening and margarine. And unfortunately, trans fats can trigger inflammation in your fat, fat tissue, which contributes to joint pain. So a long time ago, those things were actually called healthy fats, trans fats. You know, margarine was supposed to be like the, the, the healthier way to work with butter. No, no margarine. That's not on the path. No, no, no shortening. So can, can we get yes? If, you, if you've gotten rid of all those fats, go ahead and type no more fats for me and not that in the chat. Like we have, we have to stop doing that. It's not good for you. So here's one that a lot of people don't know about that can trigger inflammation is nightshade vegetables. If you're someone who, who is flaring up a lot, you've got arthritis, your joints hurt, I highly consider, you consider removing nightshade vegetables. So nightshades are a group of foods that include staples like tomatoes, potatoes, and I'm not talking about sweet potatoes here, I'm talking about regular potatoes, eggplants, goji berries, bell peppers, and hot peppers. And some people tolerate nightshades without any issue, but if you're, again, if you're still struggling with the symptoms of chronic inflammation, cutting out nightshades for maybe two to three months might be a good idea. Um, if you can't do two to three months, try it for a week. You know, if, if you notice improvements that quickly, that's great. And, and you very well may. But nightshades contain properties that inhibit the breakdown of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. And if you build up an excess of acetylcholine, your muscles and joints can feel achy and stiff. People with arthritis, reflux, and autoimmune disorders can see substantial improvement in their pain and reduce their symptoms if they just simply cut out nightshades from their diet. So that's something if you, I would highly recommend you try that. Again, what you want to move to is more quality meats uh, and vegetables that don't, that really aren't spicy, you know, uh, leafy greens and, and broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, you know, all that stuff is going to be fine. It's the nightshades, the spice, really the spicy stuff that gets you in trouble is what I've noticed. Number four, I'm going to put salt here from processed and refined foods. And I'm going to clarify here that I'm really talking about the added salt that they put in processed and refined foods. If you're eating a whole food diet, um, you know, you're putting salt on your food. That's not, that's not really the issue, especially if it's quality salt, like Himalayan salt and Celtic salt, but the stuff they add to the, add to your process or refined foods from that you get at the grocery store, are typically not the best salt. And they're typically way overdoing the salt. So historically salt and salt and additives have, have been used to preserve our food, but again, excess consumption of the salt has been shown to inflame joints and too much salts makes the cells attract water, the cells in your body attract water like a sponge. And the cellular swelling effect can also aggravate your joints and cause pain, making it difficult to get around normally. It can affect your mobility. So how much salt is too much salt? According to the CDC and prevention, uh, people over 51 years old and those with high blood pressure, diabetes, kidney disease should get around 1500 milligrams, which is about half a teaspoon of sodium daily, but the average American is getting way too much uh, from the refined and processed foods. They're getting around 3,400 milligrams of sodium a daily. So cutting down on salt can be another thing to help reduce swelling and better balance blood pressure, helping you to avoid serious heart conditions down the road. It can help you reduce inflammation and feel better. So consider that as well. So number two tip that we're talking about for how to fix your joints and, and survive this, this cold winter uh, without a lot of pain is to dress in layers. Make sure you're, you're warm. So I got a little, little list for you here. So think head to toe. And here's kind of the checklist you want to think about. Have a hat, maybe something that can cover your ears. Have a scarf and, and maybe a knit mask to cover your face and mouth. And sleeves that are snug at the wrist. Mittens tend to be warmer than gloves because everything the skin can kind of get more touched up and uh, you're kind of in an oven there with that. And then several layers of loose fitting clothing and then water resistant coat and boots. And we still want you to go outside. So go outside, but still be warm because it's good for you to go outside and keep moving. We want to keep moving, but just make sure you're nice and snug and nice and warm. And know that cold fingers and toes tend to ache and feel sore. 
and whether joint pain is the underlying culprit, keep gloves or mittens in your car and work bag in case of emergencies and sash away an extra pair of warm socks to slip on when your feet get chilly. And hand and foot warmers are also good to keep on, your, on hand at any time and being outside for extended periods of time and check the bottom of your boots at the beginning of each winter season to ensure they still have adequate grip for snowy, icy stairways and walkways. Remember, we don't want any falls. We want to be nice and prepared and nice and safe. Number four, number three, sorry. Stay hydrated. Who's drinking water right now? So stay hydrated is really important. And uh, with hydration, most people think about you know, hydrating in the, in the hot times of the year um, and, or when they're sweaty, but it's still important, especially for your joints and, and your body, even in the winter time. So hydration is always important, but it's especially important and vital in the winter months. People often think of drinking more water when it's sunny and warm, but in the winter dry air, it makes you feel dehydrated and tired and achy. So don't neglect your water intake. And I always recommend as a standard rule, because people ask me how much, a good rule of thumb is drinking about half your body weight in ounces of water. So I weigh like 195 pounds. I always try to make sure I'm having around 95 to 100 ounces of water every day. And it's about three of these, right? Just drink water first thing in the morning, uh, drink water throughout the day. Again, I try not to have too much water with my, my meals because it's important to chew your food. But outside of that, drink water all day. I typically stop around 5 p.m., 6 p.m., so I don't wake up in the middle of the night. So I always recommend drinking about half your body weight ounces of water. Also, I recommend adding a squeeze of lemon and just sprinkle some of that sea salt in there I talked about earlier. Sea salt, Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, all good salts that aren't processed like table salt. Um, electrolytes are also really nice, but that helps promote cellular hydration. You want to you wanna get the synovial fluid in your body working again. You want to keep those cells hydrated in a, in a positive way. Warm tea and bone broth are also good ways to improve extra fluids uh, for the cold days. So definitely stay hydrated, even though it's, it's warm, even though it's cold. <laughs> Number four, keep moving and stretching. Keep moving and stretching. And I, I'm going to have something to share with you, but I think right now I want to take you all through just some movements, just some movements and, and kind of get us moving a little bit. I'm going to pause from this screen here. I'm going to come back and let's just, let's just move around a little bit. And, and get our get our bodies healthy. So let me show you some examples of things you can do with movement. And go ahead and stand up with me. And we're doing full body stuff here. I'm gonna kind of take you some, through some qigong type, type influence things. So just stand up and what you're gonna do is kind of imagine your arms like a little merry-go-round going back and forth, like little ropes, just nice and easy. And use your breath with the movement. So you're gonna inhale, exhale. Just real easy when you're doing this, relax the face, kind of relax all the tension in your shoulders and your arms, and just go real easy side to side. So this is called a standing twist, and you can do this for about a minute, two minutes. And then what you can do after that is just go ahead and take your hands like so, inter interlock them. And then what you're gonna do is take your hands and go up. And you kind of sniff and lift. So sniff and lift. Exhale as you go back down. Just nice and easy. You want to be careful with your shoulders. Make sure it's not hurting your shoulders in any way. Nice and easy. And you, what you can do after that is take your hands, put them down, and just start bouncing. Kind of go side to side. Real easy. Just a slight bend in your knees. Slight bend in your hips. And kind of bounce in a half circle. Go on one way and the other. And each time you're kind of bouncing, just do a little... Exhale and sniff. Okay, so that's one that you can do kind of three times there, three times back. And another one that I like, taking your hands, bringing them in, and then Okay, so you're doing a little bounce and taking your hands and Exhaling as you inhale as the hands come in, exhale as they go away. Okay, so nice easy movements. And I always like to end with a shake. Just nice easy shake, loosen up. Just real loose face, loose arms. Get rid of all that tension in your body. We talked about how the muscles can get real tight and contracted and make your mobility affected negatively. 
just real loose shaky, okay? So everybody like that? Okay, can't see me. Oh, some of you, yeah, okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully some of you saw that, yeah. So those are some good movements that we can show you. And what I did is I actually put together an entire movement um, session. Oh, I lost my webinar slides here. Um, that you can access at nativepath.com. So if you go to nativepath.com, uh, we have a bunch of movements that you can check out there. And after this, we will go ahead and email it to you. And it'll have, I think, 60 different routines that all are similar to what I showed you there. And they're all specifically to help you reduce joint pain, improve circulation, improve your balance, decrease your risk for falls. And we'll, we'll go ahead and include that in the, the link to all those after this webinar. So I'm gonna pull up the slides again here. Kind of lost my spot, but I'll be right back. So how's that sound? Everybody gonna do some movement over the, over the holidays for us? Okay, we're gonna come back to Zoom here. Share screen. Okay, so keep stretching and moving. And also there's lots of different ways you can move. You know, find, find things that you like. Um, dancing is one that I love. You feel like holiday Christmas music, you know, dancing is a wonderful thing. My wife and I love to dance. Stepping, going outside, I mentioned going for morning and evening walks uh, is a great thing to do. Also fun to do that with your family and go get some, some light in your eyes and your skin. You know, again, stretch, resistance training, all good things to do throughout the day. Keep your muscles strong, keep blood and, and things moving in your body. And again, we're going to email you lots of different routines that you can do to, to keep moving during the winter years. So number five, number five is really important. We talked about removing the things that are harmful and inflammatory to the body. What we want to do after that is start boosting our levels of anti-inflammatory nutrients. And there's lots of things that we at Native Path here um, have have put in play in products that we can develop a routine for you to go ahead and decrease the amount of inflammation and support your joint health. So number one is probably something people haven't heard about is Collagen Care Plus. I love our Collagen Care Plus product, and this is going to help boost your collagen production, support nutrients first thing in the morning. This is how you, you improve the endogenous production of collagen in your body. Number two is collagen itself, right? So type one, type three, native path collagen it's going to help improve bone and joint health with two scoops of collagen in your morning coffee. And number three, we're going to be talking about turmeric. This is our custom blend with curcumin and black seed oil, and that's going to reduce body-wide inflammation. We're going to use two turmeric black seed oil soft gels at lunch. That's what I recommend here for this routine. And then number four is krill oil to help you get the anti-inflammatory omega-3s. And if you're really inflamed, I recommend two krills. You can do that every day. You can take it through any, really any time. Um, but if you're looking for just maintenance, you're probably looking for more like one capsule of krill oil a day. So let's get started with Collagen Care Plus. Because again, most people, I don't think people know about Collagen Care Plus. But what I recommend for, the, for your joints this holiday season is taking two Native Path Collagen Care Plus capsules with a glass of water first thing in the morning. And while taking collagen every day will definitely help rebuild lost collagen and improve joint health including the right support nutrients into your routine is mission critical in order to maintain high levels for years to come. It's basically like adding an extra level of defense to your body's collagen protectors and boosting your body's natural production all at the same time. And these important supporting nutrients not only increase the absorption of the collagen supplement you take, they also turn on your body's natural production of collagen resulting in faster, more potent results. And what's more, research also shows that these key nutrients can even act as collagen defenders, helping to stop the unnecessary drain of collagen from your body. So the way I like to think about it is like collagen powder is something you take to, it's actually collagen you take externally, right? And then that's gonna help rebuild the tissues, but you also wanna think about your body's own production of collagen. Your body does produce naturally collagen on its own, but it declines at the age of 30. So the older we get, the less our body's able to produce uh, collagen internally. So what we wanna do is support that with the vitamins and minerals. And that's what Collagen Care Plus does. And it has vitamin A, has vitamin C, has vitamin B7, and it has magnesium. That's coming from magnesium citrate, 200 milligrams. You're really, for the most, you're taking care of a lot of your magnesium needs right there. Also has zinc, 
hydrolonic acid and baron citrate. So really good product to help improve your body's natural internal production of collagen, which is another way to tackle it. Number two, and as you all know, I'm a huge fan of collagen for joint health and bone health. And for this routine, what I recommend is you put two scoops of collagen peptides into your morning coffee or your tea. And collagen is the main component of connective tissues that make up several body parts, including tendons, ligaments, skin, and muscles. Collagen helps maintain the integrity of your cartilage, the rubber-like tissue that protects your joints. And a review of studies in people with osteoarthritis found that taking collagen can lead to significant improvements in joint stiffness and overall osteoarthritis symptoms. And researchers have also theorized that supplemental collagen may accumulate in cartilage and stimulate your tissues to make collagen in turn. <clears throat> um, and in turn, this leads to lower inflammation, better joint support, and reduced pain. I'm obviously a huge fan of collagen. Again, two scoops is generally what I recommend if you're dealing with something. If you're super chronically in pain, it can maybe even go up to four scoops. And if you're not feeling really any pain at all, you're probably good with just one scoop, right? Each scoop has 10 grams. So again, this is type one, type three collagen that we're talking about here. Step three for this routine that we're talking about is Native Path Custom Blend Turmeric and Black Seed Oil. So we recommend taking two capsules of Native Path Custom Blend Turmeric and Black Seed Oil with lunch. Turmeric's main active com com component is curcumin, and it's what's, what gives this spice anti-inflammatory properties making it a potent treatment for a number of health conditions, including reduced pain and increased ease of movement in people with osteoarthritis. And one study even found that taking turmeric daily was comparable to taking 1200 milligram dose of ibuprofen daily with no adverse side effects. So this is a great way for you to stop taking the over-the-counter pain relievers that are might give you short-term relief with inflammation and pain, but in the long run, a lot of those things damage your gut and it can lead to systemic chronic inflammation overall and kind of keeping the spiral of depending on those things um, just, to, just to keep going, but you're really, you're really just numbing yourself with that stuff. So there's a better way to do it. Turmeric's great for that. So plus, according to a review of 10 studies consuming black seed oil, which is another thing we put in this uh, new formula of turmeric, may also reduce multiple markers of inflammation while also increasing blood levels of antioxidants. Another review of 12 studies had similar findings noting that black seed supplements could decrease blood levels of C-reactive protein and malodihydronide, both of which are indicators of inflammation and oxidative stress. So really important things for turmeric there. Number four, number four thing we recommend in this routine to help you with your joints during the winter season is Antarctic crude oil with astaxanthin. So taking one or two native path Antarctic krill oil soft gels daily, preferably with a meal. And if you're taking it for health maintenance, probably just one capsule is fine. And if you're taking it for relief, again, if you have chronic issues, I typically double up. So if you have a typical health issue, anything specific you're going after, probably be better to take two soft gels daily. And for decades, studies have consistently observed a connection between higher omega-3 intake and reduced inflammation. In more recent studies, uh, patients taking omega-3 supplements have reported reduced joint pain, significant nerve pain reduction, and increased grip strength. So a lot with your neurological system can start to come online when you're taking uh, really clean, healthy omega-3s. And if falls or fractures are your fear this winter, studies indicate omega-3s can improve bone strength by increasing calcium absorption from your gut and boosting calcium deposition in your bone. They also enhance the synthesis of bone collagen, which can reduce the risk of osteoporosis. As an added benefit, by keeping your arteries smooth and free, of, free from damage, omega-3s help prevent the plaque that can restrict and harden your arteries. So lots of benefits to our uh, krill oil here. And now the next question is why, why choose Native Path? Like why? Because you, maybe you're taking turmeric or some other omega-3 supplement from uh, the health place down the street. And I, I will keep reiterating this, the stuff you find online in a lot of different places and, you know, the stuff at your local store, probably not very high quality. It's probably got a lot of added fillers and, you know, your body may not be absorbing it very well. And you're not really getting the benefit of what supplements can really offer you when it's done in the right way. So at Native Path, we're always looking out for the highest purity quality products we can find with minimal to no fillers and emulsifiers and things like that, just as pure as it can possibly be. So Collagen Care Plus is, is what I'm holding here. 
that I want really everybody to know about on this call is it's the first supplement of its kind. And we put four essential collagen support minerals in there in its most raw, potent form, plus vital trace minerals to keep you looking, feeling, and functioning at your all-time best at any age. And it contains no added junk. So again, no GMOs, no, it's gluten-free, it's soy-free, and it's free from preservatives. And again, just to list it out, uh, it has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B7, magnesium, that's magnesium citrate, has zinc and hydrolauric acid and boron citrate. So all these minerals and vitamins, what they do is it helps your body start, once you supply it with that, your body is going to come back online and start producing its own collagen naturally, right? So when you do that in conjunction with the collagen, you really start doing a lot for your body to help protect your joints and keep your tendons and ligaments strong. And why choose our collagen? Because again, a lot, of, a lot of other collagens out there are saying a lot of different things, but again, it comes down to purity. It also comes down to the, the way the animal live that's supplying that collagen. So all our collagen is, it's type one, type three collagen. That's the most bioactive, most uh, absorbable forms of collagen, the strongest forms. And it comes from cows that were raised on grass and drinking water and, and having a good life, right? When you take a cow um, that's fed hormones and antibiotics and a bunch of grains that cows were never meant to eat, and it's not getting sun, it's in a feedlot, that's going to be a really poor product. And that's what you're finding with a lot of other products out there. So ours doesn't contain you know, anything that it doesn't need. It's type one, type three, it's not the, the watered down multi-collagen stuff. It doesn't have any harsh solvents, no filer, fiber fillers, just pure collagen. Other thing is important is all our collagen is inspected by a third party. So we, we actually get it shipped to a place in Dallas, Texas. And uh, we, we bring in the lab, right? We look and make sure it's pure. There's no, no viruses or anything in there that shouldn't be in there. So it's the purest, cleanest, most absorbable form of collagen that you can find is our, is our native path type one, type three collagen. And then our, uh, oops, wrong slide here. Oh, we're going backwards. Oops. Oops. Oh, I messed it up here. Okay, yeah. Collagen Care Plus. And then we're talking about our full spectrum black seed oil, right? Our, our turmeric. And this is a, a new formula that we have. We call it the full spectrum curcumin. It's our revolutionary formula that converts curcumin into a fully water soluble pH stable form. And what that does, it makes it 185 times more bioavailable and 27 times more powerful than any other turmeric supplement you may have ever tried before. So we're gonna get back to the difference between us and just another La Turmeric brand. It really comes down to the quality and how, how powerful it's gonna react inside of your body. And we've also implemented something called mycel technology, meaning it creates microscopic spheres that allow curcumin to get into your bloodstream faster and stay there longer for up to 24 hours. Plus the black seed oil that we've added in there. And this is unique from black pepper extract, which you'll find in some other, other turmeric brands. And, and that's good, but the oil has a, another benefit. So black seeds are packed with many vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals that your body needs to function at its optimal level. And these nutrients include, but are not limited to calcium, folic acid, iron, zinc, B vitamins, and vitamin E. And black seeds are also loaded with a special bioactive co compound called thymoquinin. And thymoquinin is a very powerful ingredient with major antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. The other great thing about the black seed oil and turmeric that we came out with is it's a soft gel form. It doesn't have the hard capsule. And soft gel gels are easily digested and have increased bioavailability, meaning your body can again absorb it more effectively. Soft gels are also very easy to swallow, even easier than capsules. And this is because they are flexible instead of hard like a capsule. And lastly, soft gel material that we use for, for this turmeric is antioxidant, which means that it, can, it contains a longer shelf life and it's well protected against UV rays and oxidation. And then our krill oil is 500 milligrams of krill oil, and it's the most bioavailable form of omega-3s on the planet. Again, it comes down to how bioavailable something is for you, how well you absorb it. Um, from the primary source in phospholipid form instead of the triglyceride form. It's also contaminant-free. Our krill oil is sourced from some of the deepest waters in the Antarctic Ocean, making it free and clear of toxins and heavy metals. It also has no fishy aftertaste because our krill oil soft gels stay intact into your, artery, into your intestines rather than dissolving in your stomach. 
and you can say goodbye to those fishy burps that come after ingesting a regular fish oil pill. And also keep in mind that a lot of the fish oil you're seeing out there, we don't, we don't, we don't like that fish oil because the ocean waters aren't the same as they used to be, right? The ocean waters now, we're very concerned about the mercury levels in the ocean. And the krill oil what comes from the, the deepest waters of the Antarctic, it's where the waters are still clean of all that mercury, right? So again, the, the fish oil down the street, completely different than the Antarctic krill oil um, that we're offering here at Native Path. Plus our unique type of krill oil naturally contains a powerful compound called astaxanthin. Astaxanthin, coming back to joint health, is proven to reduce joint pain by 35%. So you can, you can do all the things you wanna do with your fingers still and you get on social media and your fingers shouldn't hurt. You can expect improved vision, improved blood flow to the eye by 15.3%, meaning you can toss your reading glasses aside, hopefully, you know, and it can fortify your immune system by increasing white blood cell activity by roughly 17%. So you're never, you never worried about getting sick during the holiday season, right? And it can promote better circulation in the veins and help reduce the appearance of purple, painful, lumpy varicose veins. So krill oil can be very helpful for all those things there. So for watching, for, for being a part of this and really being on the path here with us and being part of our community, we're gonna offer a, a winter joint health bundle where you can save up to 46%. That's gonna include a free gift, plus free shipping. So in this, we're gonna include two jars of grass-fed collagen, one bottle of that turmeric and black seed oil, one bottle of Antarctic krill oil, and we're gonna throw in that free bottle of Collagen Care Plus. I really want everyone to try that and start to see what happens to your body when you start producing more collagen internally endogenously within yourself. Can you see a huge benefit? But again, this winter joint health bundle, where we're offering 46% off plus a free gift and free shipping. And for a limited time only, we're going to offer an all-time biggest discount on this web exclusive bundle of 46% off. Plus, each bundle comes with a bottle of free Collagen Care Plus and free shipping. Normally, the retail price of these three supplements together would be over $182. But right now, you're getting the power of three winter joint health boosters at our lowest ever price, as low as $97 per bundle, plus the free gift and free shipping. So here's what that looks like. If you can look in the, in the chat here, you'll see a link from Rachel or Krista, or you can also just ask for it. But if you click on that link there, um, if you go to the page after that link, you'll see an option to get th three different options, right? You can get one bundle, you can get two bundles, or you can get the most popular option, which is three bottles. And that's what lowers your cost uh, to $97 each for the bundle. And again, that includes the free shipping. You save a whole lot of money and uh, really helps keep you committed and really see the difference in terms of what these four products can do together. That's when you, when you attack it from multiple layers, when you start taking the Collagen Care Plus and get your body producing collagen naturally on its own, along with the supplementation with collagen, along with the supplementation of the krill oil and the turmeric to help really get rid of all the inflammation that could be going on in your body, plus the changes in food that we talked about, plus the, the changes with movement that we talked about, you're going to see a, a big difference, a huge difference. We want, to, we want to give you that opportunity to have the most pain-free, easy winter, right? So you can keep doing all the things you want to do. And also know that Native Path, we believe in the quality of our products. It goes back to purity, but we also just want to make sure that you know and feel the difference, right? So we have a 60-day feel the difference return policy. And that means you have 60 days to try out all our products. And if for any reason, you're not thrilled with your results as your knee pain, elbow pain, shoulder pain is relieved, your whole body is more comfortable this winter, stairs and long walks are no longer a problem. If for any reason you're not completely satisfied, all you need to do is simply reach out to our friendly customer care center for assistance. We have the most amazing people working for us on our customer care team. And just rest assured you can order with confidence and knowing that your purchase is backed by our ironclad 60 day feel the difference guarantee. We wanna make sure you're happy and you feel good about it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, everything that was shared here today. And again, you can lock in your special discount price by either clicking the link, Coach Rachel, entered in the chat or using the link that we, we're gonna to email to you. So again, after this, this webinar, we're gonna email you the recording to the webinar you can share with your friends. We're also gonna include in there that link where you can get the discount on the three different options of bundles. And it's also gonna include a link to the movement videos I talked about to help you reduce your joint pain and keep moving uh, during the holiday season. So 
thank you again. And, and please definitely check out that bundle. And I will get to some questions, see what we got here. So we're doing a live Q&A with myself. So if you do have any questions, go ahead and put it in the Q&A feature uh, at the bottom of your screen. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started with that. Let's see what we got. I'll go to the Q&A part first. Let me stop sharing my screen. All right. <clears throat> okay, so Joe talked about a problem using our ordering system from the UK. The form only contains in the States. Could you check that, please? And Krista, so yeah, one thing you may want to just call our customer care team and uh, support at nativepath.com. They can help you out. There's also some, some ways you can order from Amazon. I believe that's another possible, possible thing you could do. Um, what is the difference between Collagen Care Plus and the powder? Do I need to take both? And that's, that's again, Collagen Care Plus, it doesn't have collagen. It's to, it's to give you the vitamins and minerals so your body produces more collagen internally. Collagen is something that you take uh, exogenously to directly supplement uh, the internal collagen of your body, right? So it, like if you, uh, if, you, if you have damage to your tendons and ligaments, you take collagen, the, the collagen is going to go there and help repair that. Collagen Care Plus is going to give you the vitamins and minerals to, to produce the nutrition and, and that the the actual tendon needs, right? So it's coming coming out collagen from a different way though. Are these products safe for pets or do you have pet products, mainly krill oil? Thank you. Yes, the krill oil is safe for pets. So that's a, that's definitely, and the collagen is safe for pets as well. We, we thought about like creating a native path pet line, but we just, we just said, hey, just let's just tell people that these products can be used uh, for pets as well. So the collagen and krill can definitely be used for pets. Uh, Peggy says, I mix my collagen in grapefruit um juice because it doesn't dissolve my coffee that's fine right you can definitely mix it in grapefruit juice the thing is i wouldn't recommend grapefruit juice though because uh it's it's really just got got a lot of sugar going back to what happens when we consume refined carbohydrates when we consume liquid carbohydrates like grapefruit juice that gets broken down extremely rapidly in the bloodstream causes the pancreas pancreas to start producing a lot of insulin, that's going to get the body inflamed. So I, I would suggest instead of the grapefruit juice, you just eat a grapefruit and look for something else to put your collagen in, like a smoothie would be better, uh, or, or a warm tea even, if you don't like coffee. It could be a caffeine-free tea. That would be a better option than, than a, the grapefruit juice. So Anonymous says, my neck loudly cracks at times. I take collagen every morning uh, with MCT oil. Exercise seems to help. Anything else you can suggest? Yes. So let me show you a, a chin tuck, right? So the cracking of the neck, especially people are doing this thing and that thing. I don't recommend that. What I recommend you do is what's called a chin tuck, where you, a lot of people have these forward heads and it can cause a lot of tension. And over time, you can lose range of motion. What I would suggest is sitting up, right? And doing a chin tuck where you keep your chin parallel to the ground. And what you're gonna do is a little tuck, nice and easy. All right, nice and easy. Exhale, relax your face. You don't wanna go down. You don't wanna go up. It's just straight back, right there, right? So that there is gonna help you restore a lot of motion. And when you go back, Try to go back to the end range. You don't want to kind of go back halfway. Try to go back all the way. It's going to free up your joints, give you more range of motion, and probably that cracking can go away too. So that's a really good question. And Peggy says, what do you think of full, full body vibration plates for improved bone and soft tissue health? I think they're great. I, you know, they're, they're actually great, Peggy, for a lot of the same reasons I like shaking. You know, the thing about the plates is they're pretty expensive. Um, I know people who have them, they spend a lot of money on them. Not everybody has access to them. So if you have it, I think it's cool, but also just shaking and moving around with a lot of the, the videos I'm going to send you links for it are also just as good and arguably, if not better, since you're really using even more balance and, and, and muscles on some of the movements I'm going to show you. Um, explain to me what are the, so Teresa says, explain to me what are the minerals contain so I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about collagen care plus and again for if in case you missed that it's vitamin a vitamin c vitamin b7 magnesium zinc hydrolonic acid and boron citrate and what that does is it gives your body the vitamins and minerals so you can start producing collagen on your own again so your body's natural production it, you produce collagen on your own but that declines at the age of 30 right so we want to start 
boosting the vitamins and minerals that help your body start producing the, the collagen on its own again. And that's what Collagen Care Plus does. Tanya says one cup, one more question. I'm taking one scoop of day, one scoop a day of collagen peptides for about a month. Am I wasting my time if I'm not taking two scoops? So if you're taking, Tanya, if you're taking one scoop a day for a month and you're already feeling good, I would say that's great. That's a, that's a good level for maintenance. Like if you're not having any joint pain, um, generally feeling good about everything, your nails are growing well, skin looking good. Yeah, one's good. If you're having any issues like chronic joint pain, uh, really, if you're concerned about your bone health and you want to improve that, that's where I start recommending more than one scoop maybe two, three, maybe even four scoops, depending on how, uh, how chronic and how severe the issue is you're, you're, you're trying to overcome. So maintenance is more like one scoop, any serious issues, start thinking about two, maybe three, maybe four, if you're not seeing results. So the, I wouldn't go any higher than four. That's kind of the, typically the highest we recommend. So Anonymous says, I had gastric bypass um, surgery years ago and was told that my body would no longer absorb nutrients like it did. Do you know if collagen absorption will decline as well? And should I do anything different? I just started taking it less than a month ago and I've been taking 20 uh, milligrams once. I'm assuming you mean 20, uh, yeah, 20 grams. So if you have bypass surgery, collagen is great for that. Yeah. So what you want to do is repair the gut, right? So taking collagen is going to help uh, really give the, the vitamins and minerals for your internal intestinal gut lining. So you start absorbing things a lot better. Uh, bone broth is another great thing to take. The other thing you want to do uh, is stop eating those inflammatory foods. You know, make sure you do that because we don't want to do anything that harms the gut. The, the breads, the, um, the nightshades, the sugar, all of those can be problematic, but generally do those things. A probiotic would also be helpful to repopulate the health of your microbiome. So definitely check out our, our probiotic at nativepath.com, or you can, you can call a customer care center or email them at support at, support at nativepath.com. So those, those would be the things I would do. So a lot of what we cover here today will help uh, take care of it for you. Elizabeth, how can I get it in Canada? So if you go to Amazon, uh, they should be able to send you some, send you all these products. And um, I think they're all on Amazon, but yeah, you can get them that way. And then Sandy says, do you take MCT and the creamer with the MCT together? That's a good question, Sandy. Um, typically, I if I'm using the creamer, I just use the creamer and maybe extra collagen, but not more MCT. And the reason is because the creamer has 7.5 grams of MCT. So if I put another 10 grams of MCT, that'd be 17.5 grams of MCT. So that'd be a, that'd be a bit much. But the creamer only has, I believe, 2.5 grams of collagen. So you could add another scoop of collagen to that. And that's something uh, we do a lot of. So that's how I, I would handle that. If you get too much MCT, it uh, could cause digestive issues, right? So just about 7.5 grams to 10 grams, typically perfect for most people. If uh, Anonymous says, is turmeric, is, a, is turmeric a blood thinner? I take blood thinners, so need to know it's safe for me to take. It is a, a mild blood thinner. Most people who are on blood thinners uh, for medication don't have a problem with the turmeric. Um, but to be safe, I would go talk to your doctor who, who has a better indication of what exactly blood level medication you're taking, how strong it is, if that's going to be okay with the turmeric. Again, for most people, the krill and the turmeric is okay. They're mild blood thinners, but they're not to the point where it's typically problematic. For everybody who's on blood thinners, please ask your doctor who knows familiar with your labs if you're good to take turmeric and krill though. So uh, Elizabeth says, what time of day to take krill oil? I'm not too picky on that. Um, you know, in the, in the routine here, I, I mentioned turmeric at lunch, but you could do, uh, you could do, honestly, you could do them all in the morning. Um, the krill oil is fine in the morning or the evening. Um, typically, I, I don't typically see differences in a lot of the, the timing issue, but to make a, make a routine in your time, uh, depending on how much you want to take in at once, it might be easier for you to have it in the evening when it's away from the turmeric and the, the morning stuff with the collagen and collagen care plus. But typically it's not too more effective one way or the other. Patricia says, maybe you saw this, but what size of capsules, um, well, what is the size of the capsules and the tablets? Real small, yeah, not they're easily swallowable. And the, the turmeric black seed um, oil with curcumin, it's, what's nice about that is it's, it's soft gel. It doesn't have the hard capsule. So it's a lot easier to swallow. And that was a big reason why we got that. It's a lot easier for a lot of people, uh, but it's, it's normal, normal size. Actually, 
probably could go open a bottle for you, but not, not big, not big. Erica says, hi, Chad. I'm suffering from joint inflammation over eight years due to three torn rotator cuffs. Yikes. A torn meniscus, plantar fasciitis, carpal tunnel. I'm taking your collagen daily and coffee. Is there anything else you suggest? I'm a letter carrier walking for 25 years. Yeah, the other thing, like I mentioned here, Erica, it would be the, it would be the Collagen Care Plus, the turmeric, and the krill oil, right? Those other things to reduce inflammation and improve the endogenous production of collagen on your own, along with the scoops. That should really help you out. Uh, Rosalie says, I take Vision Essential Ultras and two milligrams of copper. I also take other supplements at the same time. It will be difficult to separate. Yeah, whatever, whatever is easiest for you. Yeah, find, find the thing that you can do uh, that's easiest for you and uh, make, make that work. So Peggy says, T-H-E, oh, the phone rang and I missed the, the answer. I mix the collagen and grapefruit juice because it doesn't have doesn't dissolve my coffee. That's fine, right? Again, I, Peggy, coming back to the grapefruit juice, really fruit juices, I'm typically not a big fan of. Uh, if you can put that in a smoothie or a tea or something else, that, that would be better. Um, if it doesn't dissolve in your coffee, you may want to try putting it in a blender. That's another thing. If you haven't tried that, put, put the collagen in a blender, or you can use our frother. If, if you haven't uh, received a frother gift yet, uh, it's coming. But we have, we have great frothers here at Native Pass. So that's one way you can help dissolve it. But putting in a blender put, uh, will definitely take care of it. And what I even like to do is add a little uh, almond milk or cashew milk a little bit of it, our MCT oil, and maybe sometimes even a little bit of butter. I know that sounds weird, but putting a little butter in the fat in the coffee gives it a little creamy taste. That's another way to do it that I think you'll really like. Susan says, in January, I had a 360 fusion uh, surgery for L4, 5, S1. I should be doing my stretches more, but my range of motion is less now from the fusion. What stretches do you recommend? So Susan, this is really good if, again, that so the stretches I showed you today were, were standing kind of movement exercises can be really good for you. But in the link that I'm going to email you after this, there's so many routines, there's 60 routines. It's going to go to a page. Really, all those routines are going to be appropriate for you. Easy on your joints, some things to, do to help you improve your core, improve your glute strength. All that's going to be helpful um, for making sure that the area around that L4, L5, S1 is, is going to be good for you and really good for good for everybody. Marlene, I wonder if this is my mom, Marlene. <laughs> I have some bags of collagen of the collagen that contain 20 gram scoops. Does the canisters contain the same or are they 10 gram scoops? And can you take two scoops of a 20 gram scoops? So you, you yeah, so Marlene, you must have the old uh, bags. We now move to uh, even the big bags now have 10 gram scoops. Um, so just think about that, right? You want, think in terms of grams rather than scoops, if you have the 20 gram scoop and uh, anywhere from 20 to 40 grams is what I recommend if you're dealing with any type of pain or inflammation or health issue. And if you're just, if you think about half a scoop of a 20 gram scoop, if you're, if you're just fine and, and just want something for maintenance. Will the special be on Friday? Um, I believe it's only only available for 72 hours, Ruby. So yeah, we, we don't keep these specials on long. So set about 72 hours, all we're going to keep this uh, this bundle discount available. So I think it'll be gone by Friday. So Rosalie says, is the copper not good to take when I take other supplements? I think, you know, I think you're going to find you can take you can take the copper with the krill and the turmeric and the collagen care plus shouldn't have any problems with that. All right, and I think I'll move over here. Let's see. All right, thank you all for your questions. So Sue says, I will add organic coconut oil to my coffee with the collagen. Tastes great. I love that too. It's really good. And let's see here. Um, hydration water also helps with inflammation. Yes, it does, Beverly. And we talked about water, talked about hydration. All right, okay. Thank you, Marlene. And I'm not your mother, but, I'm, but I am old enough to be awesome. Yeah, I think Marlene was a popular popular name around that time. So thank you, Marlene, um, for watching. And I think that that's it, right? So we've got more questions. Got them most answered. I just received six months of collagen. Can I get that gift substitute? Um, Teresita, I would maybe, uh, but I, I would uh, I would email our customer um, experience team at support at nativepath.com. And they, they can just, just talk to them, just talk to them and, and see what you can do and tell them, tell them, I said, maybe, maybe we can do this, but they, they know more about what they can do and they can't do it even better than I can. Um, so that'd be one way to look at it. 
So, okay, everybody. So we got new questions here. Okay, I think that's it. All right, everybody. Well, wonderful. Again, we're going to email you um, the recording. So please share that with your friends and family. Stay warm this holiday season. Remember, the email is also going to have the movements. And don't forget the special link, right? Krista put it in here, but it's also going to be in that email. We're only going to have that available for 72 hours where you can take advantage of this huge, huge discount, get stocked up for a while, and, uh, and stay warm this holiday season. So if I don't see you all or talk to you all, have a wonderful holiday season. I think if you're watching this live, we've got Thanksgiving come up. My in-laws just came here. We're going to maybe go for an afternoon walk have some good food tonight. So thank you all. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for being a part of our community. All right. Well, have a Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And thank you again. Bye-bye.